Last time. We talking. We talking. Let's do Look, I'm about to jump right into it. I said this on my last video. If you want to check out my commentary on Nick. Nope. Nope. That's what we're doing right now. If you want to check out my commentary on the mayor fields with Zangiel and Berta and Leah, you got to go click the link below and it'll take you right to it. But I ain't talking about them right now. Right now I'm talking about Nick and April and Jennifer and um, what's the girl? What is the, what is the one girl he going on a date with? Why do I always forget her name? Is it Danielle? I don't know. I'll put it down below. But let's 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 talk about this. Now they have since dropped to number two because they were number one. But this week they dropped to number two on my list. Although now that I think about it. I feel like Nick is the most successful at this polygamy right now because he already got two wives that's been married each other. So these girls is committed, right? And he trying to get a third one. And to me, it looked like he winning. So right now in this list of seeking sister wife, Nick number one on top. But as far as like giving me the drama, giving me the entertainment, like knowing the assignment, they number two this week. Let's go. So, they on a solo date. I'm going to put her name here. I really think it's Danielle. I really should know this. If I'm going to sit here and talk about the show, I at least should know the girl's name. I'm sorry, but let's just say they on a date. They on a solo date. This going to be quick, too, because they didn't really give us much, which I'm kind of mad, getting mad at TLC because they got so many couples and they bouncing all around. And it's like, it's going to take us forever for the plot to unravel and for us to get somewhere in each of these storylines because they bouncing between four, five, six couples. So I'm upset about that, but I'm just, let's just talk about what we got. And I'm, I'm going to make this quick because they didn't give us much anyway. So they on a solo date, whatever. So basically he's, okay, he's schooling her. Okay. He is telling her what it takes to be a part of this family. He's telling her, like, look, this is what you got to do. I know all your goals and dreams and aspirations you may have had, but all of that is out the window when you join this tribe. Yo, what you thought and what you wanted for your life is over. It's about us and our goals and what we decide in this family. He like, do you understand that? Do you get that? She all go go home. She all for it. She like, yeah, the only thing I really could see is, you know, dealing with jealousy and I don't want to be dealing with that and blah, 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 blah. And he like, oh, sis, you don't have to deal with that because I was feeling some type of way because the girls liked you and they do. For some reason, the girls really, 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 really like her. And he's like, I had to check myself. Yeah, okay. You was really concerned. You was really worried, Nick. You, 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 you had to deal with your jealousy because they liked her. Is that what you're trying to tell us? Is that what you're trying to make us believe right here, right now? We not, we not. <laughs> she might believe that. She might be going for it, but let me tell you what, who ain't buying that? We not. We ain't buying nothing that you selling. Everything that you putting together is not, nothing ain't adding up. So he's schooling her, telling her the rules of his family, telling her the rules of his tribe. And she all for it. She, she like, and, and Nick opens up, we talked about this last week. Nick opens up his app and he begins to, he like, oh yeah, she's so optimistic, you know, which is good. I like her. I like the optimism, but you know, I don't know how, Pras, pra, pragmatic. I don't know how pragmatic this is going to be in real life when this unfolds day to day. I mean, she sound good. She's saying the right stuff. You know, she check all the boxes on paper. You know, but in reality, I just don't know if she ready for that. By the way, did y'all know this girl was like 20 something years old? I mean, that Partly maybe how he getting these girls, getting them young. I mean, we just talking about it. 
I thought this woman was like 40 or something. I thought this woman was however old they is, that's how old I thought. How old is Nick? 30 something? 38? 36? I don't know. I should know this though. If I'm gonna sit here and commentate, I'm a, y'all next week, come on back. If you come back next week, I'ma know names, I'ma know ages, I'ma get my stuff together and I'ma know this stuff. But am I the only one that was surprised? I, I to know this girl is in her early 20s? I'm like, what? I thought this girl was at least 37. At least. She talking about, I was like, girl, you can still hack. Let me, girl, stop being, mind your business, story. <laughs> Sometimes I need to mind my own business. But I'm not. <laughs> Let's go. We about to end this. Because, I mean, really, this it. So they, he invites her over for a nightcap. Of course, she says yes, and she's thrilled, and she's tickled, and she ready. She like, well, I hope the other girls don't mind it. Meanwhile, they sitting on the couch drinking wine. Like, I hope they have a great date. I hope they have a good time. I mean, if there ever was a perfect fit for us, it is her. I hope Nick can seal the deal. The one girl like, well, they had their one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, being with Nick one-on-one, -on -one, she has to. I mean, after that, I feel like deal is sealed. Contract is written. Vows is spoken. So they walk through the door. Giving everybody hugs, whatever. Nick like, oh yeah, we got to go tack. The other girls know what this means because, wait, Nick says something. And I'm like, this Nick. This Nicholas. He was like, wait, wait, wait. Uh, did I write, did I forget to write that down? Ooh, I forgot to write that down. But he said something to the effect of he always bring them home, five to 10 girls or something. He said, so, um, was that somebody else? Let me not confuse my people. I really... No, this was them. This was them. So Nick been doing this. Nicholas has been doing this. This Nick been doing this. They like, oh yeah, we just gonna stay in the guest room. Get them some alone private time. And he kisses them goodnight. And they go into the room. And that's it. For them. Honestly, I think this couple, I will say couple, because the couple is two. This quad? Is it one, two, three? This quad has about the best chance of making it. Because all Nick girls in line. This Nick, <laughs> they all agree to the terms and conditions. They all check that box, I agree, and they signed. So, I mean, what else? I mean, I ain't got nothing to say about that. Leave me a comment what you got to say about that. And we'll talk about it. Until next time, I'm out of here. <laughs>